oceans are vital for life on Earth. Approximately 70% of the oxygen we're breathing is, is coming from the oceans. Today we are using about 98 million barrels of oil per day. Every day we will create a layer of concentrated carbon dioxide that is 12 centimeters over Sweden. It takes about 22 days to build this over Europe and 320 days to build it over the entire planet. We're using the oceans as garbage dumps and there will be more plastic in our deep blue sea than fish. And we need to change that, we need to turn that tide. The Virgin approach, they're eager for sustainability. They're trying to be a strong voice for cleaner oceans. Clement has found a way to turn hot water to electricity. You can take this huge part of waste that you have on ships in the industry and turn that to clean electricity. At ScanShip, we're processing all the waste streams on board. Imagine all your share of the garbage, all your share of the food waste is processed on board into energy. We have incinerators that is burning all the waste that will replace some of the fuel. It's from laundry, it's from the galley, you know, food preparation, and converting that into energy on board locally. The most challenging part of Putting a power plant on board a ship is that you have very little space. We could make a very small and very compact system with a very high efficiency. This is a box that is two by two meters. You put hot water and cold water in the back and out comes electricity enough for about 250 normal sized villas. That's a lot of power in a small box only driven by hot water. There's no garbage going overboard, there's no food waste going overboard, there's no plastic going overboard, and it's only purified water. This is the right way forward. Working with the Virgin team, pushing for environmental impact, we see them as tide turners. They're really pushing for a change. <laughs>